it's Elena with journal art pages today I'm painting a fun little character with uh, tons of color and a very loose wet and wet style um, before we do that let's have a quick look at the materials I'm going to be using you can start with the brushes I have a variety of brushes here these are synthetic and a mix of sable and synthetic so um, these are size 8 and um, and then six and then four and a two and uh, of course for uh, washes on the larger areas it helps to have a, a brush size 10 or 12 however most of the illustration can be done with size 8 or 6 so these are my go-to brushes that I use uh, on a variety of projects as for the paints Today I'm planning on using my White Nights uh, watercolor palette by St. Petersburg. It's a set of 24. As you can see, it's a very well-loved palette. I've had it for around uh, seven or eight years. Some of the colors are being used and refilled again and swapped out. Uh, the painting I'm working on today doesn't really need all 24 colors. You can definitely get away with 12 or 18. What I like about this palette is that all of the paint pans can be easily removed and repositioned in the way that most convenient for you. Even the plastic tray itself can be taken out, especially if you would like to wash the palette. There's also a large mixing area um, divided into smaller sections inside of the lid. And uh, if you have a problem with the water beading on your palette, you can check out my video on preparing your watercolor palette and uh, minimizing the beading. Um, as for the paper, I'm going to be using Stradmore 400 series, uh, size 9 by 12. And I'm starting with a mechanical pencil. Uh, I just like to use those because they don't need really sharpening. Uh, this is the type of painting where I'm not very strict with my shapes and uh, if remember lots of fun comes from playing and not being rigid in a word not really having any preconceived ideas I like to let my character kind of happen um, this particular example I started with the eyes not even the shape of the face and I'm drawing very lightly just to give myself a general guide where to apply the paint I'm mixing um, basic uh, flesh tones. It's um, it's an underlayer at the moment. So I started with some yellow ochre and permanent rose. And just applying that to the face, not everywhere, leaving some white. Uh, now I'm going in with uh, washes of turquoise and blue. And while the paint is still wet, I'm adding more color using wet and wet technique here lets me spread the paint very nicely and I know it'll blend pretty well with no hard edges if there are hard edges I can always come in later and fix that and I will show you later on how I do that so I'm trying to preserve the whites of the eyes uh, so I'm being careful around uh, um, those and uh, right now adding a little bit of sunny highlights to the forehead I'm also trying to be careful with my blues and yellows not blending at this point. It is still pretty control way of painting at the moment. Even though the paint is still wet, it uh, applies slowly and in small steps and I don't really end up with the mud here. Um, although the paint is still wet, some of the area is starting to dry. My goal is to cover the whole sketch with color and uh, there is no detail just yet, only shapes.
So when I see the painted drawing with the hard edge, I wet my brush and dab it onto a piece of paper towel and take the excess of water off. Um, then I can clean up those edges just by gently rubbing those areas with my brush and wiping it away. So right now the painting has a lot of color and it's a good idea to let it dry before continuing. Um, now I am using a little bit less water and more pigment. Um, this is what we call wet on dry when you apply wet paint on the dry paper and uh, you can always wash the color away with a bit of clean water to soften the edges. Time for the hair. Starting with the beautiful burnt sienna. I like to angle my brush uh, in the direction of hair movement and uh, once again I'm painting wet on wet so it's a perfect time to drop in some orange yellow and a touch of burnt umber to give it life and brilliance and uh, this way the shape is not boring but full of life and brightness this is my favorite way to paint For me, most fun is uh, when painting a character like that. It's um, I, I, it doesn't have any symmetry, and uh, I actually like that one eye slightly larger than the other. And I think it's just relaxing to paint a kind of a whatever face, kind of wondering what it's going to look like in the end. After this layer dries, uh, it's time to add a few finishes finishing touches, and I do that with Sharpies just to deepen the darks.
also love uh, adding a little bit of watercolor pencils for texture and extra brightness. It uh, gives it a nice feel and uh, makes the painting a little bit more finished. Most of the painting is really finished. I'm just going around the hair with a large damp brush just to loosen up the hard edges. These are uh, fine and extra fine white sharpie markers. They are water-based and depending on the size of the painting I use um, uh, one or the other to add some highlights to the eyes. But of course white gouache will definitely do the trick. Well I hope you enjoyed this little painting in the loose style and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and uh, thanks so much for watching. Happy painting!